poem about my rights. Even tonight, and I need to take a walk and clear my head about this poem about why I can't go out without changing my clothes, my shoes, my body posture, my gender identity, my age, my status as a woman alone in the evening, alone on the streets, alone not being the point. The point being that I can't do what I want to do with my own body because I am the wrong sex, the wrong age, the wrong skin. And suppose it was not here in the city, but down on the beach or far into the woods. And I wanted to go there by myself thinking about God or thinking about children or thinking about the world, all of it disclosed by the stars and the silence. I could not go and I could not think and I could not stay there alone as I need to be alone because I can't do what I want to do with my own body and who in the hell set things up like this? And in France they say, if the guy penetrates but does not ejaculate, then he did not rape me. And if after stabbing him, if after screams, if after begging the bastard, and if even after smashing a hammer to his head, if even after that, if he and his buddies fuck me after that, then I consented and there was no rape because finally you understand. Finally they fucked me over because I was wrong. I was wrong again to be me being me where I was. Wrong to be who I am, which is exactly like South Africa penetrating into Namibia, penetrating into Angola. And does that mean, I mean, how do you know if Pretoria ejaculates? What will the evidence look like? The proof of the monster jackboot ejaculation on black land? And if after Namibia, and if after Angola, and if after Zimbabwe, and if after all of my kinsmen and women resist, even to self-immolation of the villages, and if after that we lose nevertheless, what will the big boys say? Will they claim my consent? Do you follow me? We are the wrong people of the wrong skin on the wrong continent, and what in the hell is everybody being reasonable about? <coughs> and according to the Times this week, the CIA decided that they had this problem, and the problem was a man named Nkrumah, so they killed him. And before that, it was Patrice Lumumba. And before that, it was my father on the campus of my Ivy League school, and my father afraid to walk into the cafeteria because he said he was wrong. The wrong age, the wrong skin, the wrong gender identity, and he was paying my tuition. And before that, it was my father saying I was wrong saying that I should have been a boy because he wanted one, a boy, and that I should have been lighter skin, and that I should have had straighter hair, and that I should not be so boy crazy, but instead I should just be one, a boy. <laughs> and before that, it was my mother pleading plastic surgery for my nose and braces for my teeth and telling me to let the books loose, to let them loose. In other words, I am very familiar with the problems of the CIA and the problems of South Africa and the problems of Exxon Corporation and the problems of white America in general, and the problems of the teachers and the preachers and the FBI and the social workers and my particular mom and dad. I am very familiar with the problems because the problems turn out to be me. I am the history of rape. I am the history of the rejection of who I am. I am the history of the terrorized incarceration of myself. I am the history of battery, assault, and limitless armies against whatever I want to do with my mind and my body and my soul. And whether it's about walking out at night, or whether it's about the love that I feel, or whether it's about the sanctity of my vagina, or the sanctity of my national boundaries, or the sanctity of my leaders, or the sanctity of each and every desire that I know from my personal and idiosyncratic and indisputably single and singular heart, I have been raped because I have been wrong. The wrong sex, the wrong age, the wrong skin, the wrong nose, the wrong hair, the wrong need, the wrong dream, the wrong geographic, the wrong sartorial. I, I have been the meaning of rape. I have been the problem everyone seeks to eliminate by forced penetration with or without the evidence of slime. And but let this be unmistakable. This poem is not consent. I do not consent to my mother, to my father, to the teachers, to the FBI, to South Africa, to Bedford Star, to Park Avenue, to American Airlines, to the hard-on idlers on the corners, to the sneaky creeps in cars. I am not wrong. Sure. Wrong is not my name. My name is my own, my own 
my own. And I can't tell you who the hell set things up like this. But I can tell you that from now on, my resistance, my simple and daily and nightly self-determination may very well cost you your life. <laughs>